What's up, everybody? It is a blue trick. And today, oh my god, <laughs> today I wanted to make a video talking about a game that if you don't know about, you absolutely should. This is a 100% free, community-made, combined arms, large scale, with vehicles, aircraft, massive maps, and multiplayer support for up to 64 players. This is a completely free game made by the community on Unreal Engine. This is Renegade X, a community-made recreation. Oh my god. Uh, a a community-made recreation, a fan-made recreation of the original Command & Conquer uh, Renegade experience. And this is made by fans. It is made on Unreal Engine. Uh, and it has been in development for quite a long time. And there's two reasons why I actually want to make a video reminding you about this game. The first reason is there's actually a massive update that is going to come out soon. Uh, and if you haven't heard about it, it's called Renegade X Firestorm. And it is going to be bringing all of the Tiberian Sun units, as well as new maps and new, new vehicles, weapons, all sorts of things. Aircraft, tanks, walkers. Let's see, let's see if I can find the, the walker tank, which is the mammoth tank. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's amazing. It's going to be bringing all of that stuff. Uh, to Renegade X as a free community-made expansion. Um, so that by itself is amazing, but there's another reason why I wanted to make this video as well. Uh, as a lot of you guys know, we are currently working on our own game. Uh, it's called Operation Harsh Doorstop, and if you want to support us on Patreon to make this game, uh, there's links down in the description. But we're actually working on a, uh, a tactical shooter for the tactical community that is also an Unreal Engine that is also completely free and that is also community made. We want to have vehicles, we want to have aircraft, we want to have, you know, everything uh, for the experience that we want to create, which is kind of similar to like Battlefield 2, Battlefield 1942, uh, the older uh, style of games that we don't get to see that much anymore. I want to recreate that in Unreal Engine. And when we announced this project, a lot of people said that this wasn't possible. They were like, Blue Drake, you, you think that you can create a community-made game that has vehicles, that has multiplayer servers, that has, you know, combined arms gameplay with large maps, and it's all going to be free? That's impossible. And every time people tell me this, I just kind of get confused because the first thing I have to tell them, I was like, you know that already exists, right? And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, th that's, this is all, th that has already been done. We aren't doing anything new. You realize that, right? And they're like, please, tell me one other game that has combined arms, that has vehicles, that has infantry, that has 64 players on a server, that's been made on Unreal Engine, that's completely free and, and fan-made. Tell me one other game. And I have to be like, Renegade X. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Renegade X, it has, this game has honestly more content and more features than probably most of the games that I've seen come out from larger studios in the past couple of years. In fact, I would say that this game probably looks better and plays better than 95, 90 to 95% of titles released on Steam this year. But it is completely community made and it is completely free. And I, I have to keep just hammering this this idea into people's heads and like reminding them that this is not impossible by any means, not by any means. Um, and I don't know if people have been like have been like brainwashed or like tricked out, oh, dang it, or tricked into believing that things like this are not possible, but they absolutely are. Um, I, I, I may, maybe it's just a good idea for companies to like convince people that that this stuff isn't possible, so they keep shelling out out you know sixty dollar sixty dollars for like games that honestly have a quarter or maybe even a tenth of the content that a game like this has. Um, and not only does this game have amazing combined arms multiplayer, but this game also has full single player support. Yeah, no, you you heard that correctly. You can play this game completely in single player. In fact, I'll do that right now. Um, and we can take a look at all of the different maps that it has as well, and all of the different contents. So let's see here. Go to Skirmish. Uh, which, let's see. I think 
Doesn't Lake have vehicles? Lake has... Look Look at all these maps! Look at all these maps! <laughs> this is... Um, hold on. So, uh, uh, vehicles. Where are you? Pair vehicles enabled. Ooh, this is actually pretty good. Let's see. Let's do this one. Um, so, when people tell me that this kind of stuff is impossible, I, I just... People act like I'm crazy when I suggest these things. But not only do I not... Do I know that I'm not crazy, but... I... I I almost feel like everybody else is crazy for not realizing that this kind of stuff exists. These kinds of games, these kinds of development studios, this is the future. This is 100% the future. Look at this. This is a full single-player match. Um, we've got a whole bunch of AI that we're going to be fighting alongside with here. Let's just go out here and just have an epic battle in this, this massive map with all of these AI. Um, so I think they're already... We've got a harvester back there. Uh, but this this concept of community-made games like this is nothing new, nothing new at all. Um, this game isn't able to be on Steam, uh, most likely because of... Okay, hold up, I can't go through here because of the radiation. Uh, most likely because of EA's ownership of Command & Conquer, so they don't really have the rights to the intellectual property. Um, but luckily for us, we're, we're not, you know, using EA's intellectual property. But the, the, the concept, the, the idea is still the same. Like, they have created something that I don't even... The EA hasn't even created anything in the Command & Conquer series that is anywhere close to this good for, for Renegade. And these guys, the community rose up and they made this. They made this. And if that doesn't blow everybody's mind, I, I don't know what does. Oh, there's a harvester. Do it! Grab some credits. Uh, and you can go through these maps, you can gather credits, and you can use that to buy vehicles and weapons and all sorts of stuff. Um, and... Oh, oh, hold on. Ah! Alright, let's see if I can grab... Let's see, how, ma how many credits do I have? I've got 565 credits. I want... Ooh, yes, I want an Apache. Let's see, we'll get, we'll get an Apache here in a second. Um, Alright, let's head out front. Uh, but there's, you know, like, there's bases in this. There are, you know, you can destroy enemy bases, you can buy vehicles, you can do all sorts of amazing things. Alright, hold on, we gotta protect our harvester. Protect our harvester. Oh, 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 did you see that? <laughs> Is it gonna fire again? Dude! Oh, no, okay, I guess not. Oh, yep, yeah, dude. And you can also play this game in first or third person. Like it's it's your it's your choice. You can do whatever you want. But this is absolutely incredible. Um, and this is what I really think that there's going to be. I want to create more games like this. I want to take this this spirit. I want to take this sentiment. I want to take this concept, and I want to start bringing this to as many other genres as possible. Um, because it's getting to the point where we can't really rely on the larger studios anymore. You know, you've got people that are making less content. Like, look, this seriously, this is a free game. Do you have any idea how, how much everybody would flip their, pardon my French, but flip their Shiite if, if EA were to release something like this, people would go crazy. They would love this. Uh, but for whatever reason, EA just, they just won't do it. Um, and there's so much content, and you know, it's not like there's, and again, even the new content that's coming out, like look at this expansion. This is gonna be a free expansion for the game. If another studio was making this, they would take that and then they would turn it into another standalone, like a standalone paid game. You know, like they would just chop it up into a billion little DLC. Look at that, that's amazing. Look at this guy sitting here just attacking this base from the air. That's so cool. What? Why is nobody else here? Let's see, let's go ahead and we're gonna grab, um, Apache, yeah, hell yeah. Just grab this Apache. Look at this, this is so cool. I mean, I don't know, if this doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. Alright, let's head in here and defend our harvester. Oh, there's an enemy harvester.
died. Um, but this is absolutely incredible. If you've never played this game, you absolutely need to. Um, this is actually cool. Look. Shoot up glass. <laughs> oh, the little details. The details. The details make it. Um, but this game is incredible, and I feel like this is kind of a testament of what is possible. And there's so many people in the world right now that just kind of conveniently forget that things like this exist, that things like this have been accomplished, and things like this can be accomplished again. Um, in the community is incredibly powerful and creative and capable, and the tools are there for us to do what we want to do. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, in, in this, by, by letting c communities like this, like Renegade X, pave the way, I'm hoping that we can follow in these footsteps and we can create more games. Uh, I mean, obviously, the game that I want to create that I'm working on right now, I want to have a successor to Battlefield 2. Like, I want to create Battlefield 2 um, or, you know, at least, like, Project Reality. I'm a big fan of, like, Project Reality and stuff like that. Um, I want to create that in the same vein. Like, I want it to be free. I want it to be on a modern engine. I want it to be... I don't want it to be, you know, shackled by... Uh, you know, like a, a, a corporate-owned engine or anything like that where, you know, we don't have the rights to put it on Steam or anything like that. You know, there's so many games out there that, you know, or, or, or modding teams that create incredible mods and they don't have any rights to do anything with their project. You know, I want to change that. Um, so if you want to support us, again, I mean, I don't want to come across as, like, I'm begging, but, <laughs> I mean, I kind of am. Like, I want this to happen so bad. I want to do this so bad. You have no idea how much it pains me to know that something is possible, to just absolutely know it, and know that the only thing that we need to get there is just enough support, and we can do all of these things that have already been done, and then if we do it one time, it will be done forever. You know, like, look at this. I, I think this project started... Uh, God, I, I heard a number, and it was, it was... I think this project started 16 years ago? 16 years ago. Um, which is insane, and people are still playing this today. If you, if we create something like this, it will last forever. It will be here forever. It will be an option for people to play forever. You know, whether the industry goes on and continues making, you know, rehashed games that, you know, with big price tags, even though they're not really doing anything new. You know, whether that continues to happen, who, whatever, who cares? But we'll have, we'll have an option. You know, like, it, it feels so good every single time, you know, every time I see, like, E3 and there's a new Command & Conquer announcement and they don't announce anything for Command & Conquer that, like, really makes any sense at all, you have no idea how nice it is to know that I can just boot up Renegade X and just play that. And I, I, wanna, I want to see that kind of mentality more. I want to see more projects like that. I want to see more things doing that. Um, because, you know, when, when p things don't go our way, you know, like when a, you know, when a company kind of changes its tune or like, you know, adds in microtransactions or, or does other stuff that the community kind of like hates, you know, I want to have an alternative. I want to have something where people can be like, all right, well, I'm now disappointed with this game, with this other game or like with this studio or like this, you know, this corporate entity. But at least I have an alternative, you know? Like, I want to make that. I want to create that alternative. And, like, I mean, I don't know, dude. Look at this. This is the new Firestorm update that's currently coming. Dude, look at this. This is amazing. This is absolutely incredible. Like, that is... <sighs> that's super exciting. Um, all right. Well, that's it from me for today. If you enjoy these videos, if you want to support the cause, make sure you press that subscribe button. Make sure you ding that bell. If you see a video of mine and you want to support it, make sure you click the, the, the thumbnail when it comes up, because um, obviously YouTube loves click-through rates, so if you see a video of mine, just click on it. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's a shame that, that YouTube's algorithm has kind of like gotten to a point where it kind of like, it just doesn't send out notifications unless the engagement r rates are high enough. But I I'm hoping that if we can corral enough support, if we can get enough people together, we can do some really amazing things in the same way that these guys have done. Um, so, yeah. All right. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, remember, Blue Drake loves you. And I will be covering, I'm probably going to be doing more videos on this, honestly, um, because this game is absolutely incredible. And if there's any other game, um, if there's any other game like this, if you are a development studio and you are working on a community-made game, if you're creating a free game, an open source game, anything like that, please send me a message. Join my Discord. 
I will 100% support you. If you are creating any for any genre, I don't care. If you're creating something in Unreal, Unity, whatever. If you're creating a free game or an open source game or a community made game that's trying to like be progressive and push the industry forward in that way, let me know. I am here to support you 100%. Um, okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, I say I love you too much. So what should I say instead? I hate you? No, I don't hate you. I love you forever. I can't say that. Um, Cucumbers.